First of all, file name go. Chat recommendation on the file name. Second of all, welcome to the finale of Sunday Runday the 45th. Let's play a single player game. Ready to chase. All right, we'll do this, dude. In memory of our fallen our fallen chatter. No underscore, however. No AGDQ tacos are hockey. You're breaking your own rule. Imagine falling asleep during the Eminem shell shock. <coughs> Alright, so. Ready to Jace. At Whispered User, I don't know, he just hasn't been around. Like, I see him in Discord every now and then, but he doesn't come to the stream. Well, I went off on, like, a fucking three-hour rant about AGDQ doing Muppet Monster Adventure Forward. And Ozarhawk is burnt out. I wish, Alucard. This seems pretty epic. Alright, everybody. How do you optimize a game like this? Uh, you really don't. You just play it over and over again, and then lol. I'm lolling RN. No, this is not an auto scroller. It's very close to an auto scroller, but it's not an auto scroller. Low Zimbolt. Fuck you, bitch. Alright, so if anyone wants to give their onions, the finale onions, their onions on uh, Sunday Runday the 45th, reminder also, by the way, to vote in the poll for the 46th. Reminder, we're very uh, close to a year of Rundays. Uh, how epic is that? I started in February. I forget exactly like what the date was, but I started like maybe February like like mid February with the Sunday run day shit. But anyway, give me your onions on today's run day. I felt like it was pretty good. Not bad. Started off kinda wonky. Got some wonk at the very beginning. No twonk, but just some wonk. Alright, let's see what we got. Woof me up, cowboy. Come back, pal. Come back, pal. Mommy, me, me, ah, mama, 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 mama. Hey, 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 hey! I think I just woke up my mom.
All right. So I got one more dog to go. One more dog to go. But that should be a best segment. This should be a best segment. Oh, all the time. Not to sort of pixel. Very frequently. I just mute my mic and then tell her that I'm busy. I have no time for her. I'm streaming shitty fucking PS1 games on the internet to like 30 people. A beef is suppression. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is very true, Apparition. Alright, so... Basically, I'm gonna give some commentary here, so hold up for a little bit. Basically, there's four things you have to do in every loop. There's two loops. So you have to do two tomato picking uh, segments, two dogs, two fucking haunted house areas, and then two fucking libraries. Uh, the libraries are basically exactly the same. The haunted house areas are basically exactly the same. The tomato bush is like very, very slight RNG. Very, very slight RNG. But it's like nothing profound. And then both dogs are like really where you're going to save and lose time. My PB has bad dog on the first loop and then good dog on the second loop. Um, so I just got a good dog on the first loop in this run. Meaning um, if I get a good dog on the second loop, then I am fucking good. If I get a bad dog in the second loop, then I might still PB if I'm lucky. Depends how bad the dog is. But really, the RNG, what you have to deal with, is just slight RNG in the tomato picking, and then um, RNG with the dog. Basically, the way the dog works is it will randomly speed up and randomly slow down. So, like, when it's running away from you, sometimes it'll just be really slow, like it was in this first loop here, and then that's what you want. That's, like, that's the good shit right there. But then sometimes it just speeds up. And, uh, then you're fucked and you lose a lot of time because you have to chase it forever. Which is what happens, like, very, very often. And then there's, you know, actual movement, which is, like, you know, very, very hard to lose time on. And then there's, like, the races, quote-unquote. Um, you can bump into walls and kind of get fucked there and lose some time, but it's not, like, a huge deal. Really, the in optimizing this game, it's mostly just going to come down to whether or not you get good dog or bad dog on both loops. The way the little baby works is uh, it'll just go in the same direction. Loop 1 it'll go left, loop 2 it'll go right, and it's it, you can't fuck it up unless you forget where to go. Yeah, I don't know anything about Arthur, so I don't know like if these things have names. I guess it's Pal, yeah. Because Arthur says, come back, pal. Anyway, uh, with the first race, your car sucks, and it's really slow, so you're probably not going to be crashing. With the second and third race, your car is not that bad, so you might accidentally uh, hit a, you know, a few walls. If you hit walls, then you might get fucked, because like the frame rate will slow down. Like right here, the frame rate's terrible. So like sometimes you'll hit walls, and like the frame rate will get really shitty, and that's not good. So, like, a lot of the, the shit in this game is just, like, you can't tell what the hitbox is. Like, right there, you can't really squeeze through there without fucking up. You can hit X to break a little bit, um, but that slows you down quite a bit. So you only want to use that if you think you're going to fuck up almost, like, immediately. So, like, right there, I used it a little bit. Right there, I used it a little bit. Used it a little bit. This is a lot more, like, in-depth than you'd think, as far as, like, optimizing how this fucking gameplay works. Yes! Like I said, that is going to be a best segment. That dog was fucking fantastic. Alright. So this is on pace for a 17-minute run. No one has ever seen a 17-minute run of, uh, well, sub-18, I should 
specify, of Arthur ready to race. People have said it's not possible. When I started speedrunning the game, the world record was like fucking, like 19 something. So people have very, 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 for a long time, have said that 17 minutes, you're not gonna, that's just not gonna, not gonna happen. You're fucking dumb if you think you're gonna beat this game in under 18 minutes. It is possible. I could get fucked on the dog, though. It is very possible for the dog to fuck me in the ass, and not in the good dick variety. Um, so it is very possible for, the, for this run to fucking fall apart. It's just all dependent upon RNG at this point. But it is a conceivable notion that I could beat this game in under 18 minutes on this day. It is very much so a possibility. It all just comes down to the doggy. The woofer. I should not explore that glitch, Ozarhawk. Because <coughs> I don't want to get sent back to the main area ever again. <coughs> <coughs> well, I don't know, like, I guess you're thinking maybe you could skip a loop or something? That would be pretty based. Alright, that was good tomato. Basically, the RNG with the tomato picking is uh, the fucking things. They fly around and they knock the tomatoes down. It's kind of random. Dude, I love doggos as well. Alright, y'all. Second dog. Two of two. Woof me up, cowboy. Let's go. If I get a good dog here, then it's done. Arthur Ready to Race is done. If I don't, then the game lives on. Post some dogs, y'all. Let's go. Don't hold your breath, but we'll see what we get. I love to woof. Whom woofing? TBH. Alright. Let's go. Come back, pal. Alright, pal. Don't fuck me too hard. Alright, I already got one. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. That's not where you want to have a speed up. If I can get him right here, that'd be very nice. No, very bad RNG. Very, very bad RNG. If he speeds up again, like this run is done. Okay, I got it. I don't know if this is sub 18, but this should be a, a new record. That's not terrible. I don't know if it's enough to get sub 18, though. I'm going to lose time here for sure. The dog strikes again. I got woofed on. And not in the good woof way. But I should still get a record out of this, without a doubt. Yeah, the remainder of the run is just like, don't fuck up easy shit. <coughs> like walking in a very similarly to a straight line is not hard. You want to cut the corners as best you can. Could you imagine a world? A reality, a timeline, where there is a fucking idiot on the internet, unironically discussing legitimate speed technology as well as technique for a fucking Arthur ready to race on the Sony PlayStation. Like, right now, in this current universe, there is some dumb fucking retard who's played this game enough to the point where they can in depth explain exactly how to speedrun this game. Like, imagine that, dude. Holy fuck. This is the world we live in. So yeah, on the first loop you have to get his backpack, on the second loop you have to get his clarinet. They're in different spots, but the track is the same length, so it doesn't really matter. I am out of here! I am out of here. 
out of here. So place y'all's bets, because I honestly don't know. I don't know if this is on pace for eight sub 18. I'm I'm reluctant to think so because I don't know. I, I don't know. But place your bets, guys. Do you think this is good enough to get sub 18? What do y'all think? Get your onions out in the open. I'm gonna put my onion out there. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say no. It's going to be a PB, but I'm going to say no to sub-18. What do y'all think? Ready? Well, actually, I'm going to say Ready? yes. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to try hard. I'm going to say yes. Excellent. Also, mind you, the control with these cars is, like, really bad. <laughs> Like, it's not, like, terrible, but it's not good. So that's another thing that makes it hard to optimize this shit. Embrace the Jace, dude. I'm backing that up. Yahoo! Fucking embrace the Jace, dude. That is, is good cool. shit right there. If I remember, I'm making that the description for the YouTube upload. This is great. There you go. The world's first! The world's first! Sub 18 Arthur ready to race run! Alright, a little bit a little bit too much there. <clears throat> Congratulations, Arthur, on winning the Elwood City so I'm posting these splits on Twitter, and y'all are gonna have to retweet this shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm dedicating this run to our fallen hero, this dude underscore. May you rest in peace. Let's play a single player. God damn, dude, 1755. What a run! What a rush! What an absolute and utter rush! And that, uh, I'm afraid that that ends today's Sunday Run Day. I hope you vote for next week and tune in next week. As well as ask an adult for help if you don't know if you enjoyed this week. Alright, I have made the tweet. Ask an adult for help. Live split is uh, currently breaking for whatever reason. Back me up. All right, seventeen fifty-five. What a run, dude! What a run. Ask an adult for help. If you're 
having trouble deciding what to do, ask an adult for help. For sure, without a doubt, just come it's just gonna come down to the way the dogs are. But to get another PB after this is gonna it's gonna be hard. If you're having trouble deciding what to do, ask an adult for help. If you're having trouble deciding what to do, ask an adult for help. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching, fellas. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Sunday Run Day, and uh, I, uh, I'm about to embrace the Jace after this run, TBH, so hopefully all, all of y'all do the same. And if I will see y'all uh, tomorrow.